Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have imported the files required for this project, you can download them from below link in the description. Now let's see how to create trailer title, create a new composition, name it as trailer title. Here I will set time duration to 5 seconds. Perfect, now let's add the text. For this text layer, I am using Montserrat font family, font style to medium, here you can increase the font size if needed, now align the text to the center, make sure paragraph alignment is set to, center text, perfect, now let's animate the text, for this text layer, from animate select tracking, now at end of the time align, create keyframe for tracking, now at start of the timeline, change tracking amount, here I will set it to near about 75. Now select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease, now adjust the graph as shown, make sure you are on the speed graph. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now let's pre-compose the text layer. Name it as text. Now let's create a new solid layer. Name it as texture. Now in effects and preset, search for fractal noise, add it to the solid layer. For fractal noise, set fractal type to, swirly. Select inverted. Now set contrast to. 150. Set brightness to 25. Now set complexity to 3. Now in transform, uncheck the uniform scaling, set scale width to 150. Set scale height to 600. Select perspective offset. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for rotation. Now at end of the timeline, Set rotation to 1. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now in effects and preset, search for tritone. Add it to texture layer. Now here you need to set the midtone and shadow color as shown. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose it. Name it as Metal Texture. Select Move All Attribute into New Composition. Now place it below Text Composition. For Metal Texture, change Track Mat to Alpha Mat Text. Now for Texture Composition, in Effects and Preset, search for CC Glass. Add it to the Texture Composition. For glass, in surface, change bump map to, text. Change displacement to, 200. Now in light. Change light height to, 100. Now in effects and preset, search for CC blob eyes. Add it to the text composition. For blob eyes, 
change blob layer to text. Set softness to 5. Set cutaway to 1. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's select both compositions, pre-compose them. Name it as metal text. Perfect. Now from project panel, let's add the background media file to the timeline. Now in effects and preset, search for tint, add it to the background media file, perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer. Name it as background. In effects and preset, search for gradient ramp. Add it to the background layer. Now here you can set any color of your choice for the background. Set ramp shape to, radial ramp, ramp scatter to, 500. Adjust the start and end of ramp position. For background, change mode to, add. Now for background, press T to bring up opacity. Now at 1 second, create keyframe for opacity. Now at 2 seconds, create keyframe for opacity. Now at end of the timeline, change opacity to 50%. Now at start of the timeline, change opacity to 0%. You can see the preview. Now from project panel, let's add the blue flare media file to the timeline, let's change mode to add. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. For this adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for optics compensation, add it to the adjustment layer. Now at 3 seconds, create a keyframe for field of view, now at start of the timeline, change field of view to. 150. Now select reverse lens distortion. Now press U to view keyframes, select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now in effects and preset, search for camera lens blur. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now at 3 seconds, create keyframe for blur radius, set blur radius to 0. Now at start of the timeline, set blur radius to 85. Select repeat edge pixels. For camera lens blur, select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now in effects and preset, search for exposure. Add it to the adjustment layer. For exposure, at start of the timeline, create keyframe for exposure. Now at 10 frames. Set exposure to 4. Now go at 2 seconds. Set exposure to 0. Now for exposure. Select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now again create a new adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset, search for noise. Add it to the adjustment layer. Set amount of noise to 3%. Now in effects and preset, search for sharpen. Add it to the adjustment layer. Set sharpen amount to 20. Now in effects and preset, search for vibrance. Add it to the adjustment layer. Set Vibrance to 15. 
set saturation to 10. Perfect. Now let's add the cinematic frame, now create a new solid layer. Name it as frame. Now double click on this rectangle tool to create mask. For mask, change path. Set unit to, percent of source. Set top to, 10%, set bottom to, 90%. Select inverted. Now for the metal text composition, press T to bring up opacity. Now at near about 2 seconds. Create keyframe for opacity. Now at start, set opacity to 0%. Now select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect, here our trailer title is created, similarly you can create multiple title and create your trailer. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, see you next week with another awesome tutorial.